Okay, so back to the witness. Where were we? Um, we solved the windmill thing, and it I think it liked part of this obelisk. So it must mean that I have to do two more obelisk or windmill stuff. I have to get it to the opposite end, get it to the three fourths, and then a quarter. So let's do that. Yeti. <laughs> um, hmm. okay, right, get three quarters, or maybe, let's try one quarter first, so get it to That's not the way. So I have to get three quarters, like 270 degrees clockwise, and also a 90 degree clockwise, starting from. Alright, faster. Faster, 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 faster. I forget how I sent, like, where did I land when that other one worked? There we go. So I just have to go up. Let's see if that quarter one is filled in now. Yep, it is. So now I have to do three quarters. And I don't think I've ever seen these yet. Swirly bits. Snake one. Alright, let's do three quarters. out again hopefully oh this is how I do it I have to go down quickly now there we go here we go got about that that the tip is broken off catch me yeah windmill done Remember I left some puzzles over here that I didn't finish. Is it down here? Right, this one. I got it. It's like that apple thing where you kind of have, so I have to go around the, you can see the reflection in the water from the rocks, the pillars. There. There. Yeah, it is.
then there's like a reflection in the bottom. How far does that go? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, that was a tall one. This is kind of weird. This one... Is it just like that? No. Is it like that? Oh! Is it... That one? Up two, maybe? No. Up one. I up one. Okay. One. I. No. How does that work? One. Two. Heal. Where does this one look? Straight across. This one's higher than the other one. And like that? Yeah. This is another one of those. But which one's included? Is it just the three? Two, two, maybe three. Yes. What does that do? Any voice things? Puddle. Puddle. So I guess that was just like an, another introduction to the mechanic of uh, environmental hints. Oh. oh, I thought that was a recorder. Ooh. Let's check this out. Okay, Tetris symbols. I've never seen these before. Well, oh, and they're all black dots. Tetris? No. Trying to make the symbols, but then how do you do the diagonal one? Nope. No. I don't think I know that or have been introduced into that, uh. Whatever I need. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? It's one, another one of these. no clue what those mean or like how to decipher I just like those are just a uh, process of elimination so far I mean there's triangles and they're like rotated sometimes I gotta look into those screenshots see if I can find the pattern but for now I'm happy that I just solve them they're not connected to anything so maybe they're just bonuses or they'll unlock something when I do everything on the island I'm guessing this is an island haven't seen the other side of the island or land. Alright. Ooh, another one of these. So it's pointing sort of to the top right. Or at least that's what I think. Nope. Yeah, I don't get that. Oh, here we go. Oh, I haven't been introduced to this mechanic. I don't know what this bit is. But then, like, there's stuff going on. 
to the side? Can I go? Nope. Can I? Nope. Nope. Oh, well, there's wires going towards it, so it's probably like the, um, the first gate that we encountered. Where I have to unlock those latches. And we're back. To the windmill. The... let's... let's switch the windmill thing. I don't know what the other position does. Take a look at the town. Oh, God! It's like Pompeii or something. Okay, there's a puzzle in there. There we go. Nope, maybe this is observational too. Don't know who. Imagine if all the tumult of the body were to quiet down, along with all our busy thoughts about earth, sea, and air. If the very world should stop, and the mind cease thinking about itself, go beyond itself, and be quite still. If all the fantasies that appear in dreams and imagination should cease, and there be no speech. No sign. Imagine if all things that are perishable grew still. For if we listen, they are saying, We did not make ourselves. He made us who abides forever. Imagine then that they should say this and fall silent, listening to the very voice of him who made them, and not to that of his creation so that we should hear not his word through the tongues of men, nor the voice of angels, nor the clouds thunder, nor any symbol, but his very self, which in these things we love. And go beyond ourselves to attain a flash of that eternal wisdom which abides above all things. And imagine if that moment were to go on and on, leaving behind all other sights and sounds but this one vision which ravishes and absorbs and fixes the beholder in joy so that the rest of eternal life were like that moment of illumination which leaves us breathless. Would this not be what is bidden in scripture? Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Augustine of Hippo, circa 400. Okay. That looks like a face. Like a disgruntled face with the two eyes and you know, straight smile. Not even a smile, straight mouth. There's another recording. It is a great adventure to contemplate the universe beyond man. To contemplate what it would be like without man, as it was in a great part of its long history and as it is in a great majority of places. When this objective view is finally attained, and the mystery and majesty of matter are fully appreciated, to then turn the objective eye back on man, viewed as matter, to view life as part of this universal mystery of the greatest depth, is to sense an experience which is very rare and very exciting. It usually ends in laughter and a delight in the futility of trying to understand what this atom in the universe is. This thing, atoms with curiosity, that looks at itself and wonders why it wonders. Well, the scientific views end in awe and mystery. Lost at the edge in uncertainty, but they appear to be so deep and so impressive that the theory that it is all arranged as a stage for God to watch man struggle for good and evil seems inadequate. Some will tell me that I have just described a religious experience. Very well, you may call it what you will. Then 
in that language, I would say that the young man's religious experience is of such a kind that he finds the religion of his church inadequate to describe, to encompass that kind of experience. The God of the church isn't big enough. Richard Feynman, 1963. So I saw a clue, um, to, oh, what is that one? This puzzle. Not a clue, but something that's, you know, off. So you can see, let's, there's broken parts of the lattice. This one, this one, this one's fine. This whole corner is, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I wonder if that has anything to do with it, but how do you interpret that? Let's step back a bit. Maybe go across when it's broken, but where do you turn? Okay, so no matter what, you're starting on a broken part of the lattice. You go up until it's not broken and then make a turn then the vertical ones are not broken so make a turn and then no. make a turn when it is broken This one I haven't been introduced yet. Oh my god. Looks like one giant maze itself. Okay, it's a four by four. One, two, three, four, yep. This where you actually start? Maybe. Is this where you get out? Okay, so let's work backwards. You just do that? Just along the edge? No. Or maybe you have to maybe these are black dots. So this, is this one. This two. That's no three kind of because there's Three path. Oh no! So many pathways being blocked. Uh, maybe go across for that, and then this one is crossing up. Go across, crossing up. Okay, one from the bottom. Start here. One over, up one, one over, up, up two. One over, up one, up one, two, go across. Okay, observational. Hmm. Like, how do I look at that? Let's say up two, up three. Up one, up two. 
Up two, then up three. Let's go back down to one, then up two. One from there. Two. Did I try that? Hmm. There's that little leaf too. Ah. Up two, up three, up one. There, up, two, there we go. There's that little bush that counted as stay on the ground or whatever you want to call it. Hmm, what is this? There's shadows, do I follow? Okay. One over. I'm gonna have to draw that out. Or possibly. Let's open up my screenshot folder. Shot folder. I'm pretty sure it's the vine. Put that on the other screen. Okay, across one. Up. Now up two. Down one. Cross one. Go back down. Cross all the way. This up here up here, here, eel, green shots, for the win, where does that go, zigzagging over here, what in the world is this, where, there's an apple over here, x and y coordinate system, Windmill? I can't really see the windmill from here. A bit, maybe. Uh oh. Crap. Alright, let's take a screenshot of that. Okay, what can we look around here? Shadows? Four way kind of thing? Nothing in the background over here, at least as far as I can tell. Let's go back to that. Where does that lead to? Goes over here. Powers this giant thing, I think. Hmm. Have anything to do with it? And I don't know about this. Oh, maybe. Okay, so it starts here. One across. One to the right. Go forward two. Turn right two. One two. And right. Wait. Right one. Forward. 
to write to down one, right one. Alright. Forward to right one. Oh, this and then that. Right one, forward two, right two, back one, to the right. If those are dots that I have to collect. Because I'm thinking this is the entrance, right? And then here is the exit. Just like that. Alright, let's go back to that. Or come back to that, I should say.